Bop, 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 testing it on. What's up, guys? Matt here, Acoustic Selection. I want to hop in here real fast and show you a fun little hammer-on strumming pattern. Maybe it can help you all with your playing before my battery dies on my iPad here. So I got my, uh, my Martin guitar here. What you can do is lock in those two bottom strings of your third fret. First, just be able to play the G, which is fifth and sixth. Strum all six. When I see a C, just move your top two fingers down to the fourth and fifth, strum the bottom five. And then a D, keep the bottom two locked, press the third string, second fret, strum the bottom four. So the first thing you want to do is learn those four chords. G, C, D. Get very comfortable, and that's the reason I teach those with it. when I teach my four chords. Locking those two bottom strings will really help you stabilize the guitar. Make it easy for those transitions. Now, what, the reason for this video, what I, what I want you to work on, is the hammer-on. So, for example, on the D, what you're going to do is you're going to do a hammer-on, they call it, for whatever string your first finger, I say first finger, it's this pointer finger, is playing. So, for example, on the D chord, you'll start, you'll strum that D chord without that first finger pressed. Then you'll add it. So, see, you're playing it kind of open, bottom four strings, then you add to that second sound. So that's a great exercise to start out with just a D chord. Then for the D chord, you go to a C chord. And again, you're gonna play this chord with the two bottom strings locked and just your middle finger on that fifth string and you're gonna hammer on that first finger on that fourth string. Hear that? So let's try the bottom five. Then you add. After you strum down, you add that first finger. You can imagine the G chords will be just like the C, except. This time you're going to hammer on that fist string. You can add in the E minor, which is again with two bottom strings locked. You can use the first two fingers to press fifth and fourth, or I use one finger to press the fifth and fourth. Me personally, like Luke Combs, a lot of times will use his uh, two fingers and a hammer on one of them. I don't really do any kind of hammer ons when I play the E minor. Uh, I just. I just hammer on when I use the G, C, and D. So, it's great once you learn that. Try playing, whether, whether it's with songs or just some general strumming, try using that, those little tricks. See if it helps you out, a little strumming trick. It's a fun thing to do, just work on those little hammer lines. I love doing that with A minor. The, like I said, the C at nine, the G, D kind of spicing up, doing that strum before you play that first finger. We're going to spice up your play and help with your praise and worship, your country songs, whatever you play. So, thank you so much for checking out the video. Look at my website, acousticselection.com, if you want more tips on strumming, kind of ways to spice up your play in my four chord songbooks, all that kind of stuff. I go to acousticselection.com. Thank you guys so much for the support. Smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe. Let's go.